One of the things we see here a lot, because we're a big referral center and an academic center, is a lot of undiagnosed chronic breast pain that goes on for either many months or many years. And one of the procedures of choice that we do for this is called wrist arthroscopy. And what we do is we put a couple of small incisions along the back of the wrist, uh, we insert a camera, and we insert a probe, and we basically start looking at the structures, and you identify what looks normal, what looks abnormal. Now the benefit of University Orthopedics is we have multiple doctors who do quality wrist arthroscopy, who are very well trained in it in their fellowships, uh, and, and do quite a bit of it in order to diagnose some of these uh, problems that are often missed in the outside world. But some of the common things that you'll find during a wrist arthroscopy is cartilage injuries, uh, which sometimes are missed on the MRIs, uh, partial ligament injuries, uh, carpal instability and mid-carpal instability, and triangular fiber cartilage complex tears or TFCC tears. And these things are all structures that are directly visualized. In addition, they're also stressed while you're looking at them under the camera, which is something that you don't get from a static MRI image or even an MRI arthrogram. So typically, when you have a chronic wrist pain that's going on for a long period of time, has been undiagnosed or just isn't getting better, uh, and has failed conservative treatment, you know, typically we start very conservative as well. Uh, sometimes we can do selective injections to try to determine what location your pain is coming from. Uh, not a lot of fun, but they're very helpful information. Uh, wrist bracing can also be done. Therapy can also be very helpful for some of these conditions. When that fails and you have MRIs that are either normal or show one of these ligament injuries or an MR arthrogram which shows one of these injuries but also again they can very commonly be normal but you still have the pain. So just because you have a normal study doesn't mean that you don't have a problem going on. You know, it's really dictated by the symptoms. Uh, then typically a wrist arthroscopy can be very helpful in diagnosing some of these conditions. Typical candidates that we see for this procedure are patients who have been bounced around for a little while and have undergone conservative treatment, uh, which we always try for an extended period of time before doing these procedures, uh, but they failed that and they just go undiagnosed for long periods of time. 